They built ice houses in the middle of the desert, domes that stayed frozen through 120-degree summers, and they weren't alone. Across the ancient world, engineers solved the same problems we still face today, without engines, electricity, or modern tools. These weren't primitive people, they were inventors. And the last discovery on this list? It's so advanced, scientists still can't fully explain it. Let's start where civilization itself began, with a single invention that put humanity in motion. Number 10, the potter's wheel. Mesopotamia, circa 3500 BCE. It started with clay and a flash of inspiration. Sumerian artisans discovered that spinning their clay on a round stone made vessels faster, smoother, more uniform. It wasn't just pottery anymore, it was mechanization. That simple turn gave birth to precision craft, transport wheels, even early astronomical tools. The first machine built to shape mud but motion alone wasn't enough. Humanity still needed to master something far more vital, water. Number nine, Indus Valley Plumbing, circa 2600 to 1900 BCE. Under the streets of Mohenjo-Daro ran a hidden grid, baked brick drains, street covers, even household toilets. Every home had a washroom linked to a main sewer. When most of the world lived amid waste, the Indus people engineered sanitation that rivaled modern standards. No monuments, no emperors, just organized urban planning. And for four millennia, no other civilization would match it. But while the Indus controlled water above ground, another empire would learn to move it beneath the desert. Number eight, Kanats of ancient Persia, circa 1000 BCE. Imagine a desert so dry crops shouldn't grow, yet green valleys stretch for miles. Persian engineers dug gently sloping tunnels from mountain aquifers to the plains below. Gravity did the work. No pumps, no engines. Just math, pickaxes, and precision. Some kanats still deliver water today, almost 3,000 years later. Hydrology turned survival into sustainability. But the Persians weren't alone in bending nature. In the West, an empire turned water into power. Number seven, Roman aqueducts, circa 312 BCE onward. Rome didn't just conquer, it flowed. Aqueducts carried mountain water hundreds of miles to cities, baths, and fountains. Their secret wasn't magic. It was gradient, a fall of mere inches per hundred feet. Even valleys couldn't stop them. Inverted siphons pushed water uphill under pressure. Clean water became Rome's heartbeat, proof that infrastructure is empire. Yet the wonder holding those arches together wasn't the stone. It was what lay between them. Number six, Roman concrete, Opus Caementicium, circa 100 BCE. Modern concrete lasts decades. Roman concrete has survived seas and centuries. They mixed quicklime with volcanic ash, producing crystals that reseal cracks when touched by water. The world's first self-healing material. Harbors, domes, and aqueducts still stand because of it. They didn't just build for beauty. They built for eternity. We're only halfway through our journey. So if you're enjoying uncovering these lost innovations, Give this video a quick like. It helps this history live on. And fittingly, the next breakthroughs ensured ideas themselves could live on across empires and centuries. Number five, papyrus and paper, Egypt to China, 3000 BCE to 105 CE. Along the Nile, Egyptians sliced reeds into sheets of papyrus, the first portable writing medium. Messages could finally travel trade, poetry, administration. 2,000 years later, the Chinese refined the idea into paper, blending bark, hemp, and cloth. Writing became cheap, light, and global, a quiet revolution of information. Words no longer died with the speaker. They could cross empires. And soon, value itself would learn to travel just as easily. Number four, coinage, Lydia, circa. 
7th century BCE. Markets once ran on weighed metal and trust. Then the Lydians struck discs of gold-silver alloy stamped with the royal lion. For the first time, a coin guaranteed its value, the birth of money. Trade accelerated, taxes, wages, and economies followed. Every currency in your pocket owes its lineage to those ancient stamps. But coins could buy goods, not glass. That would take a breath of fire. Number three, glass blowing, Syrophoenicia, first century BCE. A craftsman lifts a pipe, dips it in molten sand, and blows. The bubble glows, cools, hardens, transparent. That moment turned glass from royal luxury into everyday life. Bottles, lamps, windows. It democratized beauty and changed how people saw their world, literally. But to survive that world's heat, another culture found a way to make winter in the desert. Number two, Yakchols, Persian ice houses, circa 400 BCE. In summer heat that could kill crops, Persians built domes of mud brick so thick they trapped the cold. Snow hauled from nearby mountains froze in underground pits. Air shafts vented heat away. Inside, ice stayed solid through months of blazing sun. They stored food, chilled drinks, even made sorbets. Passive cooling, zero electricity, sustainability before the word existed. But while most ancient inventions met daily needs, one device tried to calculate the heavens themselves. Number one, the Antikythera mechanism, Greece, circa 150 to 100 BCE. Recovered from a shipwreck near a tiny Greek island, it looked like corroded bronze. X-rays exposed 37 interlocking gears, a hand-cranked astronomical computer. It predicted eclipses, charted planetary motion, and timed Olympic Games. No device like it would reappear for a millennium. Proof that ancient minds weren't guessing at the stars, they were mapping them. Ten breakthroughs, ten glimpses of human genius that refused to wait for modernity. From clay wheels to cosmic calculators, they built the foundations we still stand on. Because progress isn't new, it's ancient. Subscribe to History Digest, where forgotten innovation lives again.